everyone, happy Friday. It's Lisa and today I have so many good things to show you. I really think, I was thinking, I've already had to go out this morning and do something. I'm just now getting back in. And when I was going over in my head what I was gonna show you and what I was gonna say and everything, I was thinking this may be one of my best hauls in a long, long time because everything I'm gonna show you, I just, I'm excited about it. And I really know that you're gonna love it. Probably one of my favorite things. I just put this on this morning and I love it. And I can't show you the one I have on, but I can show you the other one. And I saw this on, I think I'll put her channel down below because I know I can find it, but I think it might be Claire, Claire, I keep wanting to say Claire Chanel, but I know it's just because she gets so much Chanel. But I saw her talk about these and she said it was her absolute favorite bra. And when I saw it, I thought I'm going to give that a try because if it is just halfway comfortable, as pretty as it is, I want it. So it's from Fig Leaves and I've never tried anything from Fig Leaves, but What's good is they have all sizes. They, they even have like the bra sized swimwear. And so this is the bra and it is just so sexy, so good looking. Do you guys see how it has like the, you know, like it's not even really, it's not even really like a boning at all. It's not like it's, you know, stiff and going to give you Madonna boobs or anything. It is just so pretty it is just so pretty and so she was saying how much she liked these how comfortable they are and how good it looks underneath like blouses and stuff like that it gives just a little kind of like the whole you know free people bralettes that everybody wears underneath tank tops and stuff this is kind of like a kind of i think it's kind of like a stepped up version a little bit classier and it will look good under like blouses you know what i mean like not really i wouldn't put this like under a white tank top but underneath a blouse or something i just think this would look so pretty and um i actually have let me see how much i can show you well i have the cream one on now and you can't see it through what i've got on but another thing i like about it if you're like me and you kind of don't want any help in the boob area. You want, I hate to say minimizing, but you don't want any cleavage, push up or anything. That's how this is. It's just normal, normal, and it looks so pretty on. And I was thinking when I put it on, even if you're not, you know, loving the way you look at the moment, there's just something about putting on a pretty pair of panties and bra that just, it's just so pretty and it makes you feel good. So do it for yourself. I just think it's when you're getting dressed and you put something pretty on and then you put your perfume on, it just, I mean, just changes your attitude and just makes you feel pretty. So love that and I think you guys would too. So I would say it's true to size. And then I took a leap and ordered her favorite um, panties or underwear that she likes too. And they are the Calvin Klein and they're the thongs like this. This one you can probably see a little bit better, but what makes these different is, let's see what they're called. They are so unique. I even may like them better than the ones at Target. Um, invisible high waist thong. And they don't say anything about this, but what is different about these versus a lot of like the high waist invisible see how it's got like that band right here but there's nothing right there there's no band or anything so it's got like that no show so a lot of times if it if things have a band right there or they're too tight they'll give you like a little bubble right there and where they just you know cut into your padding and um these are just awesome i have these on today and i've had them on for a couple of hours and if they weren't comfortable they would have been off by now because i do not wear uncomfortable pretty much anything and um, i love these so i'm pretty excited about that so i think you should order one and they have all different like if this isn't your style they have a lot of pretty ones so i think you would love that okay the next thing is let me show you something else i know i like and that is this little guy here from Dior. They have come out with some new Ultra Care Liquid. And this one is, I wore it the other day. It's called Blossom 750. 
and I put it with my nude sandals. And so when you put a color like this with more of a brownie tone, it's going to take a lot of that brightness out of it and it makes it a lot more of a wearable shade and I loved it. It feels so good. So if you wanna see this color, then just go back to the video I just did. It was my shoe haul. And then I also picked, I, we actually had, I went to the local Dior counter and we had like five or six you know, that when we were going through them that we pulled out. And this next one I had, I think three times we had pulled it out from different spots. And it is kind of a nude. And this one is called Wonder. So I'll swatch this one for you. But these have like grapeseed oil, this, that, all the stuff that's supposed to be conditioning for your lips. But they are like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not really a matte. It's just kind of like a muted tone that is so popular now. And look how pretty that nude is. It is just gorgeous. That one, which is the color Wonder, is, I think it is just gorgeous. I think so many of you would love that. So the next few things I am so excited about, we were, Brooke and I were in New York and we were in Saks and we were going past the makeup counters where are we on? I don't even know why we were on the makeup floor because we didn't even look at makeup on um, at, at Saks. But this counter was right beside the elevator. And when I looked over, I was like, how can there be a makeup line that I haven't heard of? But then when I saw Kate Moss, her picture, I was like, oh yeah, I remember seeing that now and not knowing anything about it. And it's this line called Decorte. And it is a an Asian line and they are mostly known for their skincare. So she asked me all about, the, the girl that was working there was very sweet. And she just made, I tell you, the people that work at the counters make the biggest difference to me because she was so inviting and she was very young. She did a great job. And um, so she was telling us about the skincare and she asked what I use and everything. And then she said, um, I know, I, I can't think I, the lipstick or something was right there and I was looking at the lipsticks and she said, I know what color would look good on you. And so it's what I have had on. I just wiped everything off so I could kind of reapply it with you. But she immediately pulled a color that she thought would look good on me and then she pulled the lip liner and I liked it. And then we picked out a blush and um, so I thought we would put it on again together and the Lip liner is um, RO621, and it's something different than I have. It reminds me of like maybe the Chanel Nude or some of the colors I used to wear more, but it is a roll up and um, it's really nice. It's got the, you know, brush on the other end, a nice brush too. I like that it's not pointed. Let's see if you can see. I don't like pointed lip brushes. I just don't think that that is user friendly. But, so I'm gonna put this on again. And you can put it on, you know, darker if you want. I'm just gonna line my lips because I've already put so much on, just a little bit. It reminds me of the L'Oreal Roll Up Lip Liners I used to use. I used to use the Mauves and the Berries and the plums and the wines. If any of you remember those, let me know down below. But those were my two lip liners and I mean, I would use them until they ran out and get another one. And Max Factor was my favorite lipstick and my favorite color was Sparkling Bordeaux. And it was a color very similar to this. And I, I waitressed at the time and I can remember all the girls getting those combos. It was the plums and the wines and then I can't remember the color I wore with that and then the berries and the mauves with the Sparkling Bordeaux. Okay, so I can't stop talking long enough to line my lips. And then I usually just kind of blot it in a little bit, but you can take like this and just feather it in. especially if your um, lip color is lighter. But the one she chose for me is, they're all, they're kind of like Shiseido or Shu Yumira. They don't have names, they just have the numbers. This is RO650 and it's so pretty. This is what the lipstick looks like. And this is the shiny formula. They did have kind of like a velvet matte 
but that's not what I typically go for unless there's just like a particular look or color that I want. If I want to do matte, I really like like the Chanel velvets and stuff like that. Anyway, so this is the color here. And I just think it's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love like it's got this I don't know, almost like a a balm, balmy feeling, like a thick balmy feeling. Not a lot of fragrance at all. Maybe very, very, very light, but nothing perfumey at all. And it feels very glossy and silky and just beautiful. I love it. I think it's the perfect match with that lip liner. So I just think she did so good. And then when I was looking at the blushes, she said that she would pick two colors for me, and this is the one, we looked at a real nude one, and then we looked at this one, and she said this is the one that Kate Moss wears, so you know it was all over then, and it is just beautiful. It is the sweetest pink color, and so I have on this today just on the tops of my cheeks. I have on a little bit of a darker color I'm gonna show you on first, and then I put this on over it, just to give it just a little bit more of a sheen. And I did not spray or fix plus or anything today. So everything you see is from the products. And I did use the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation in the newer color that I bought, the seven and a half. And it's, I, would, I wouldn't say it's perfect because even though it's a neutral tone, it's still very yellow or golden but I think that's as good as it's gonna get in that line. And what I might do is just put in one pump of like an Estee Lauder nude or something to break it down when I lose even more of my tan. But um, I really love the coverage of that Charlotte Tilbury. But so I'm so excited about these and I thought you guys might want to just try something new. You know what I mean? Like me and try something different. Hey, another thing that we bought when we were in New York that I, We've used this before. If you have been with me, you know how much I love this stuff and I forgot how good it is. I think we used almost all of it last time and I just forgot about it. But Brooke and I went to, um, there was a Trader Joe's right up the street from where we were staying and our hotel did not have any place to get drinks or anything. We went to Trader Joe's to go get some drinks and just like a few little snacks to keep in the room and Brooke brought this to me and she said, um, remember this? And I was like, yes, I have forgotten all about that, but it's the Egyptian magic. And I think I have seen this at Walmart before. I'm not sure, but I will find it. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon, but if you have never tried this, it is very unique. Um, my friend Gina got me onto this so long ago and it, the ingredients are olive oil, beeswax, honey, bee pollen, royal jelly, and propolis. It kind of reminds me of the Jisoo that Negan does, you know, all those good properties that honey and bee things have. And so I have been using this. You can see how much I've used. You kind of, it's hard at first and you kind of have to get down into it. I've been using this at night on my lips and on my neck because I can remember when I used to put this on my neck how good my neck and chest would feel the next day just how much like less crepey and just kind of like rejuvenated so and I have felt like that again so if you have not ever tried this just give it a try I don't think it's very expensive it used to be hard to get you had to order it but now I think you can find it at all your health food stores and all that stuff like that another thing I got some great PR packages this past week and I'm only going to show you two of them and then the other stuff I will show you maybe next week maybe I'll use some of it in a tutorial but Laura Mercier sent this to me and I want to thank them so much it is so pretty it is a special palette for breast cancer awareness it's called the LA palette natural natural face and cheek palette and it has like some highlighters it has blush and illuminator and a bronzing powder. And I have used this, I got this earlier in the week, so I've used it, but look at how beautiful this palette is. I just think that is the prettiest. That is like my favorite color pink when it's got just, I don't know, it's almost like, it reminds me of like baby clothes. I love that color pink where it's got like a little bit of 
peachiness in it, but yet a little bit of rosy tone. I just think it's so pretty. And um, it has a great big mirror that you could use. I see the value in these mirrors now because Brooke and I, when we were staying in that hotel, we could not both fit in the bathroom and get ready at the same time. So I let her have the bathroom and I was using the mirrors to get ready. So now I understand why people want a great big mirror, but look at how pretty this palette is. So the actual blush, the darker tone I have on is this today. And then I have on, is it? I don't have on one of these highlighters. I have on the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance 01 highlighter. And then all over to set my foundation, I used the translucent Laura Mercier, the illuminating one, the one, the glow, the translucent glow. So that is what I have all over my face. And, um, but these colors are just gorgeous. I have used, which one did I use? I think I've used this one and I've definitely used that bronzer, but just a gorgeous palette. So, and I think, you know, I'm sure that they're probably uh, contributing to breast cancer awareness too. It's just smooth, like it shuts easily. Here, I'll take this out. But it shuts easily, opens easily, just a beautiful palette. So thank you so much, Laura Mercier, for sending that to me. And they actually sent me this brush too, and it's the Laura Mercier Cheek Color Brush. And when I got it, it reminded me of the, remember when I used to love the MAC 116 blush brush? That is how this is. So it just helps you put the blush just exactly where you need it. And then the last thing you guys have seen me wear too, I think I wore this in my video, the first video I did when we got back, and it is a combination. When I went to see Nadine in, or we went to see Nadine in New Jersey, we went to the Sephora that is in the mall that the Cheesecake Factory was in, and the girl that was managing the store had this lip combo on, because you know I'm not scared to ask. If I like what somebody's wearing, I ask them. And she was wearing this combo, and it is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. These are the ones that you can use in your waterline for eyeliner, lip liner, whatever you want. And the color is Anywhere Caffeine, number 600. And so it's just a color like we like. I would say it's similar to Lancome Ideal. And then she had on this lip oil, and it's the Hourglass Lip Oil just in clear or you know she said that other stores i think she said maybe was it neiman marcus some other store had the colors in this and i might end up ordering it but i swear i've just enjoyed just the oil so you do like this and then some of the lip oil comes out it feels so good and then you just it just mixes just the slightest bit on your lips and gives you just the prettiest nude lip and what's neat is when the oil wears off or after you've eaten or something, don't reapply, or I don't like to reapply the lip liner. The perfect amount will be left on the edges of your lips. Just put the lip oil on and it's just an even lighter, prettier nude lip. It's just so pretty and this feels so good. I think I'm gonna stop here. I've got some more stuff, but I kinda wanna use it and be able to tell you how I like it and everything first but I have new dresses, this really cool one that I have on, and two more that I want to show you that I ordered from Nordstrom before I left, so I'll be right back. So this is the first dress, and you guys have probably noticed the print. It is so cool. I have seen this dress for so long on the, you know what, I don't know, I think I ordered this dress from Reformation. I think I ordered, I think I ordered all these from Reformation. You can get, the Reformation line on Nordstrom, but I ordered this from the actual site. And um, I had been looking at this dress for so long and I'm so glad I got it. It is so sweet yet sassy because of the print, but I just love it. It just buttons up, it comes in perfectly at this you know perfect part of your waist, and I love the length. And today I just, you could go with flats, Hey, Chanel. Hey, baby. You could go with flats. You could go with loafers. You could go with nude heels, nude sandals, flip-flops, anything you want. But I decided just to pair it with my gold Gucci sandals and just the gold jewelry that I'll show you in a minute. But isn't it pretty? I just love, I've always loved a good shirt dress. And I just think this one is so pretty. 
And the other two are just pretty classic to my style. You guys, oh, I meant to do this. You guys know I love black dresses. That's just kind of like my thing. And this one just has like the V, kind of a low cut V, and then it Vs down in the back. And then what's pretty about it is the way that it flares out. So it gives you just that real pretty, sexy, you know, top silhouette, but then this real pretty, you know, ladylike bottom. And it's just such a pretty look. And I will wear these real soon so you can see them. And then the other one, I am a sucker for any kind of ruffle or tie at the sleeves. And this literally ties. It came untied. I just tied it. So it looks like I've got it uneven. And then I always love like this little detail where it looks like a bustier. And so it's got that detail. But what I love about it is it's not like wired or anything so you know the chances of you fitting in here perfectly are not you know not, not everyone is so that gives you some more room and um then you tie it you know up as high as you want and then it also has like a seam here and then has the long more of a longer silhouette i love the reformation line all of their pieces are the fabric is real, like a nice, heavy, good fabric that hangs and swings nice. And the, the looks are very feminine and kind of like an old Hollywood look. And it's just, I love all of their pieces. I mean, I could just order so many things off of their website. Okay, then for accessories, I am wearing these beautiful earrings that Dean sent me from his latest collection. I just think they are so pretty. I love that little pearl on the back. And so I went with all of his jewelry. This is one of the rings he sent me a while ago. And it's got more just, no, it's got the same gold. The brushed gold. And then the bracelet. And then the other bracelet that goes with this. And then I took the necklace and just wrapped it around to go with the bracelet. Just to give it more of that look. And then this is the knockout necklace and this he was giving away with any purchase during labor day i'm not sure if he still has this but i'll put his link down below and i think that's it my nail polish is the cnd i can't remember the name i'll put it down below and the fragrance i'm wearing today i'm not wearing the ysl because i felt you know kind of feminine and stuff today so i put on the mason louise number four from oliver and that's where this necklace comes from too so I think that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend with your families. It's just beautiful here. It's actually, it feels like summertime. I'm actually ready for some fall weather. But please subscribe to my channel down below for more videos. Like this video and share it. You, if you push that share button, then you can like put it on your Twitter or something like that. And follow my new Instagram, please. I'm still trying to build it up. I would love to get it to like 10,000 so that I can, you know, swipe up my videos on the stories and some stuff like that. And um, I'm going to tell you exactly how I got hacked and what I've done to prevent it again. And I'm gonna share with you the exact email and everything. I'll probably do that next week. So have a good one and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.